The director of Marvel's Luke Cage recently revealed what we all speculated but never had a confirmation of. And that's that he was also tasked with building out a Netflix universe and one specific TV series was cancelled when everything else was cut. This of course being the Daughters of the Dragon. <laughs> So Daughters of the Dragon was rumored to be in development and of course would have starred Colleen and Misty. The placement of this show after going around through old rumors and what they were saying in interviews seems to have been in play for a sequel to Iron Fist Season 3 and Luke Cage Season 3 which would have seen those characters I guess sort of team up in a possible Heroes for Hire and then each one of their co-stars aka Colleen and Misty would have gone on and done their own spin-off, aka Daughters of the Dragon. And this could have come out about two years after Luke Cage and Iron Fist last season. So you can kind of see the placement here, and the director confirming that this was in fact what they were doing kind of makes a whole lot of sense now, and we see what they were going for. And remember at this time, Marvel TV was also building out the other side of the TV universe with all the uh, Hulu stuff, and they were very much dead set on crossing over all the TV stuff at some point. Now, who knows the logistics behind this and how it would have happened, but this was the idea. And he also said that they put plenty of Easter eggs and teases in their sort of a relationship and in their appearances to tease that this was going to happen to get chatter going online about it. And he says, well, it worked. That's why we were going to be doing it. That's why we were doing it. That's what we were talking about. But he says the early uh, discussions were left vague because they needed to get through the seasons of Iron Fist and Luke Cage. And at the time, they were already writing each next season before they were told, nope, we've been canceled. Stop writing on it. Don't worry about the spinoffs either. So ultimately, it was all killed off by Netflix when they decided not to renew anything. So there we go. Now we know that it was, in fact, a true rumor. <laughs> 